Oh, hello everyone. I hope you're all well. It's Susie here from Esoteric Trading Solutions. Uh, I hope you're kind to yourself, you're kind to your family and friends, you're kind to um, your friends, as I said, you're kind to all your animals, um, your putty cats, your dogs, anything you love, and you're just generally kind to people in the world to make this place a better and a nicer world. Uh, we need more kindness in this world, that's for sure. Uh, today I'd like to talk about a, an article that got posted from Crypto Potato, which I never look at. I don't even look at half these articles. I, I often get my clients sending them to me and they always want me to comment on them. And I thought this was a, a fair game article because uh, it's really just absolute garbology. And I'll say it again, garbology. And seriously, that's why I just get frustrated with some of the stuff. I don't even look at YouTubers or some of the articles because... So many people just don't know what they're talking about, and this is honestly garbology. Um, it says one billion XRP moved evidence now claims Ripple has no value or XRP has no value. And I basically, I vehemently, I don't know whether I spelled that right, refute this because it's so incorrect, and it basically sends out just the wrong uh, information to people that don't know much about cryptocurrency. So I've really got to uh, say something about this. It just irates me. And as I said before, it is garbology. So, but before I do that, um, I'd like to also say, please support our Kickstarter uh, program. We've got a cryptocurrency course. It's really a very in-depth course. It's got 10 modules. It's not expensive. It's 45 euro, uh, about $50 US. Um, we're still behind our budget. I'd really like to see this get funded. And I'm a little bit disappointed, actually, uh, with you YouTubers, you subscribers. Um, I do want to thank some of my su subscribers uh, who always support me. And, and that's Andrea and a few other people. And thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But it is disappointing because I spend a lot of time on YouTube uh, doing uh, information to you guys free for nothing. And I've done it for probably two years now. And again, I don't like it. I, I don't care whether people don't like what I say or not but honestly you guys wouldn't work for free I'm sure and the quality of my content is second to none I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything like that but I honestly know my stuff you know I've worked in markets for 35 years you know and that's a lot you know and I've worked in all markets equity markets foreign exchange markets fixed income markets, mortgage-backed security markets. I've managed exchange settlement funds with the banks. I've, you know, managed money and I've done the SWIFT process time and time again when I was young. On the settlement side, I know about the risk management side. I worked as a fund manager for fixed interest and equities. I've been a broker. I've done all sorts of things. And I just get disappointed when, you know, I've got more than 10,000 subscribers you know, and I'm lucky if I get six people that support, you know, our, our Kickstarter campaign. And beautiful Andrea always supports me, and I really thank you, Andrea, for that. Uh, and a couple other people. Um, and it just disappoints me, you know, 10,500 subscribers. And I'm lucky if I get six or seven people to, you know, subscribe to this campaign, which is only 50 US. I understand money's very tight for everyone. I understand that. You know, from week to week, I don't earn a lot of money myself sometimes. You know, I work in a gym for very low wages. But, you know, it is disappointing. And, um, you know, again, I could just, you know, do not even do this and not even tell you guys the truth about anything and, and give you my experience where I've just, you know, some of the stuff that these guys and, and come out on YouTube and some of the stuff that's printed, it's just, it's garbage. And if you want to believe in what they say to you, I mean, seriously, you know, they just... Some of them just tell you about the news and everything else, and it's not and it's not analysis, and it's not an educated, uh, you know, it's not experience or anything that's telling you the right stuff. Seriously, you know, and if you want to believe those people, well, by all means, supporting them. But I have to say, I'm I'm feeling very, you know, very down about the whole thing, and I'm just a bit disappointed because I really thought, you know, you guys would you know, at least value, you know, the information that I'm giving you, um, you know, and we're not talking about a lot of money here. And as I said, I've done a lot of YouTubes and, you know, I could go and just spend time with my friends and my family, seriously, rather than talk to you guys about this stuff, because I just, I feel, I'm feeling a bit down the dumps, I have to say. And 
you know, honestly, you just do things for people and they just expect everything for nothing. And I, I'm just not prepared to do that, guys. So, you know, if you don't support my Kickstarter, I'm going to be pretty, pretty upset and pretty, very, very disappointed. Okay, so that's all I can say about it. Anyway, going back to, and I won't harp on about it too much, but I do tell you how I feel. You know, I show my emotions on my sleeve. I'm a Scorpio and I tell you how it is. And if you don't like it, if some if there's subscribers out there that don't like what I say, you don't have to watch me, okay? Just turn me off and go and listen to some other dickhead that's going to tell you, and I'm going to say a dickhead, that's going to tell you about garbology. If you want to believe those people, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I've got no problem with that. But when I see things like this, um, one being XRP moved and evidence, uh, they say it's evidence that, that XRP has no value. This is garbology, honestly, because it tells me the people that write this, um, well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be kind to this fellow Toju because he was just literally following uh, a Twitter that actually, that actually said that Ripple's a scam and everything else. But clearly it tells me that the guy that tweeted this or Twitter or whatever you call it, has no experience, doesn't know anything about anything, and yet he gets printed up in the press. You know, is it a case that you just have to not know anything to get printed up in the press? Is that how it works? So people that do know something, like myself, don't get printed up anywhere because, you know, you just li the press listens to all the other idiots out there. Seriously, that the talk garbology. Because this particular person, I don't know whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter, uh, clearly doesn't understand anything about markets and clearly doesn't understand anything about value. And that's a fact. So let's go through this. Okay, and this is what this person said. All right, I don't know who this person is, but he's a tweet tweeter and his name is Flib Flibber. I think it's how you pronounce it. Mm. Well, I'm going to call him Fibber. And I don't know whether he had that word in America or the UK or anything, because in Australia, a fibber is someone that actually lies and tells incorrect truths, okay? And I don't like people that lie or tell incorrect truths. That's a fact. This person said a BNXRP was moved yesterday and basically said XRP has no value and XRP is a scam. Well, I've got news for you, Mr. Fibber, uh, Mr. Fibber or Ms. Fibber. You're a scam because you don't know anything about markets and how they work and you don't know anything about value and you obviously don't know anything about technology. Okay, that's number one. So you must be pretty happy buying literally 2,000 cryptocurrency and coins and tokens out there at least. Uh, according to Coin Capital Markets, there's 2094, 2094 cryptocurrency coins and tokens. And I tell you what, I've gone through a lot of those cryptocurrency coins and tokens, and most of them are garbage. Most of them are ga crap. They're garbage. They are scams. There's no value in them because they don't have technology that works. They don't even have a prototype, a beta. They have no clients, and they have no partnerships. Now, I've got news for you, Mr. or Ms. Fibber, or Fibber. Um, if Ripple is a scam and XRP is a scam, then why does Ripple have clients, number one? Why does it have partnerships, number two? Why does it ha keep on putting more and more businesses every day? Uh, you know, a matter of fact, you're basically saying that every business that uses Ripple's technology or XRP obviously doesn't know anything. And if you look at uh, Ripple and XRP, who uses it, it's unbelievable. And it's not just a banking coin, Mr. Fibber or Mrs. Fibber. The fact is, XRP and Ripple's technology is for everyone. Ripple's technology, and I'll say it again, and I feel like I'm repeating myself in an obsessional way, and I will. It is the only technology in cryptocurrency that can settle anything instantly in terms of cash flows, instantly, within three to four seconds. Now, I do coin reviews and I do coin tokens for my clients to subscribe. And I go into absolute detail. In other words, I test the alpha, I test the beta, I test the technology. 
And you know what? The amount of times I've checked and tested technology with something that's supposed to have value, as you say, and it does have value, where the coins traded $24 and you go to test something on your mobile phone or something else on your iPhone and it doesn't even work. You know, you put your email in and nothing happens. But yet the market, the cryptocurrency market is so stupid. They drive a coin up to $24 and it doesn't even work. You know, how many scams does there need to be, you know, for you to really understand which coin or which token is a scam and which one isn't? Because clearly, Mr. Fibber, you are a Fibber and you tell lies. Because XRP and Ripple's technology is not a scam. Have you used it? Have you tested it? Have you transferred coins? Have you seen the technology? Have you gone into a business where they're using the technology? Because I have, okay? And this irates me. It is garbology and it irates me. Really, really irates me. So, and I'll tell you why it's not a scam. And what you're saying about moving a billion dollars, uh, which shows that it has no value, is just stupid. And I'll tell you why. You've got a buyer and you've got a seller, okay? If a buyer is happy with the price, they're buying XRP, and a seller is happy with the price, they are selling XRP, that makes a market. Whether it's a billion dollars or whether it's five billion dollars, right? That's where they see the value of XRP at the moment right regardless of whether the market is properly valuing something now markets don't always as we know in every market i've ever traded markets do not properly value something right like when apple came out and they did their ico apple traded for a long time under its ico just like Microsoft, just like Google. Apple stayed there for years at 65 cents because markets did not understand the value of Apple because they didn't understand the technology, Mr. Fibber. And you clearly do not understand the technology. And you are a Fibber because it's not a scam, because it works. And at least tell people in crypto land the truth rather than coming out with statements that are totally unsubstantiated. I'm in a cranky mood tonight, fair dinkum, I really am. You know, I'm really in a cranky mood because no one's supporting my Kickstarter. I tell you guys the truth and I'm really pissed off when I read stuff like this. It's just garbage, seriously. You know, he talks about, uh, you know, the network of the system, right? And why XRP Ripple needs to burn coins and white stuff. It is irrelevant to what he is saying about XRP having no value and XRP being a scam. I mean, it is totally frigging irrelevant. And this guy just wanted to get in the newspapers. Seriously, I'm not kidding. You know, he just wanted to get some press. And I picked it up because one of my clients wanted me to comment on this. Otherwise, I don't bother reading garbology like this because my life is too important to me and I don't want to waste my time with idiots. And I'm going to say it because I'm really grumpy today. Idiots like this. Fed income, I just don't. I don't know whether you use fed income in, in America and, and overseas, but I'm saying fed income because when I read this stuff, I get totally exacerbated. I really do. And I get absolutely furious by it. So, Mr. Fibber, Mr. Fibber. Mr. Flibber, Mr. Fibber, whatever he or she said, XRP has got no value because a billion dollars was moved. And yes, the fee is minuscule. That's the whole essence of XRP. You don't know anything. If corporations or if me as an individual or a bank or anyone goes to transfer foreign currency anywhere in the world, if I went to transfer, like my, my clients are exporters and importers, and they go to tra they go to transfer 20,000 Australian dollars to the Middle East or somewhere like that, 
It takes them 10 days. They don't get cash settled instantly like with Ripple, okay, XRP. Also, for 20000 Australian dollars, the banks will take out $5,000 in fees. That's number one. So you've, set, you've shot yourself in the foot already. If something is going to cost the population less money, why would we ongoing want to use the banks or Thomas Cook or anyone else for that matter when they're raping and pillaging us, where they're just ripping us off blind? Now, I don't know what it's like in America, but I can sure as hell tell you in Australia, there are four major banks and the four major banks in this country make $15 billion a year, $15 billion. Our population is 23 million people. How do the banks make so much money when we only have 23 million people? The point is the banks rape and pillage with fee after fee on accounts, even if you have a deposit in there of a dollar, your account's going to cost you $5 every month. If you transact anything overseas, you're going to get, you know, as I said, charge five grand for a $20,000 transaction. Plus it's going to take you 10 days to get the settlement through, right? XRP and Ripple have the capability of transferring any asset, not just foreign currency, if you know your stuff about Ripple. They can transfer anything, any sort of asset, a collectible item, anything, loyalty rewards, anything, right? Instantly within three to four seconds, okay? Any sort of foreign currency, anything. You know, for a minimal fee. You know, they could do $50 million transaction like we saw with Michael Harrington in terms of his fund and it cost him 30 cents US, right? Now, if he did that through the banks or anyone else, he's gonna pay thousands upon thousands of dollars. So, and you tell me XRP doesn't have any value I've got to say it, you're an absolute, you know, look, I know I say be nice and kind to everyone, but this really annoys me. And the reason why I get annoyed is because this person is a fibber and it's not telling the truth. You know, I don't mind if someone puts up an article and it's telling the crypto community the truth, but this is garbology, right? Now, the thing is, Ripple's technology and XRP are not a banking coin or technology. They are for everyone, anyone. We all do foreign currency. We all go overseas. You know, we need foreign currency for our travels. Have you never noticed how much the banks cost you when you convert from Aussie dollars to US and you're spending in Europe or whatever? Has it not, are you not aware of the charges they're charging you? You must be living under a rock, man, or, or girl, because seriously, the charges the banks charge, or not even just the banks, the money exchanges, you know, you go and convert some physical currency, and what are you getting charged? Seriously, why would you want to go through the institutions and the central institutions that cost you a fortune? When Ripple has the D technology, a decentralized, decentralized technology with a consensus algorithm where there are no miners and the fees are minuscule and they can cash settle instantly. Cash settle instantly. Not just, not like Ethereum or not like Bitcoin that rely on miners and can't cash settle instantly. Anything, right? You know, talk about those, talk about something else, but you don't know what you're talking about, honestly. And to say that a large quantity of XRP has been moved as evidence that XRP has no value is just garbology. Because all it shows you, as I said before, is the buyer was prepared to buy at this level and the seller was prepared to sell it at that level. It has nothing to do with the true value of XRP. That's a fact. And as I said before, markets get it wrong constantly. Otherwise, how do you think Warren Buffett got rich? 
mega rich. If markets are always right, tell me how people like Warren Buffett made so much money, right, in the equity market. Because he bought undervalued securities, this is a fact, where he knew more about the company than anyone else. He bought them when people didn't know anything about them like you don't. And he sat on them and waited. And he made himself an absolute mega fortune. And now I think he's the richest person in the world, right? Probably the richest, I'd say. You know, and you're talking two different things here. You don't know what you're talking about. Honestly, you just don't. And this thing exacerbates me and flabbergasts me. Right. So, then he goes, uh, then this other guy in the article goes, XRP's value has been hotly debated. The primary reason must, most considered values is that the banks have option, this is laughable, to transfer funds in fiat or other cryptocurrencies using XRP's shared ledger system. Now, hang on a minute. You know, why would they want to use fiat? You know, when fiat, why would I want to use fiat? I've just told you the reason. If I go through the bank and I use fiat to transfer money anywhere else in the world, I am being charged an arm and a leg. It's costing me a fortune like everyone else. Me individually, you know, you know, I don't know what you do with your foreign currency, Mr. Fibber or Mrs. Fibber, but seriously, you're not getting charged the fees that we all get charged? Ripple and XRP are for everyone. It's not just a banking coin. Again, the banks are making a lot of money out of all of us, a huge amount of money out of all of us. Now, the thing is, Ripple and Ripple's X Rapid system, they're not going to give it to the bank for nothing. They're not going to give it to the bank for free. What do you think it costs any institution, any bank, any money lender, any export company, any import company, anyone, what do you think it costs for them to use Ripple's technology and X Rapid's shared lender system? What do you think it costs? They don't get this stuff for nothing. To put in Ripple's technology, right, it costs a fortune. If you've ever worked in a bank or a corporation or whatever, technology is a huge spend. It's one of the biggest spends a corporation will make. And it's a long-winded spend. In other words, the technology will stay for 25 years, just like Swift did since 1973. Ripple does not give that technology away. That's why Ripple, the company, has $25 billion sitting in their cash account. Ripple, the company, are very, very profitable because their technology is the best in crypto land. The best. That's why they have 25 billion sitting in their cash account with no debt. Now, if Ripple was on the stock market, where do you think they would value Ripple shares if they're on the stock market? A company that has no debt, has 25 billion sitting in cash, has the clients that they've got and the prospects that they've got going forward. Where do you think they'd value the share? Now, if you look at my other YouTubes, right? If Ripple has all these different securities, bonds, equity, and cryptocurrency, you mean to tell me that the equity market, now this is just common sense stuff, would be having a share of Ripples for 200 US dollars or 300, their bond would be expensive as well because they have 25 billion in the bank, but their XRP would be valueless? Give me a break. Seriously, you don't know anything, Ms. or Mr. Fibber. You don't know anything. You don't know a damn thing. Ripple is very profitable. And with 25 billion in cash, Ripple can buy back XRP, right? Limiting the circulating supply. If you limit the circulating supply, what happens? It means you don't have much supply, do you? Right? If you don't have much supply and you've got demand 
exceeding supply in a big way as time goes on. And this is what will happen with XRP. What will happen? XRP will start to rise, won't it? Right? You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that. Okay? Why would anyone want to keep using the foreign currency settlement system that we have now, which goes through SWIFT, and I've done so many YouTubes about this, where SWIFT is old technology, right? From 1973. Old technology that cannot settle instantly, cash flow anywhere that you transact in the world. Why would I want to keep using SWIFT when every time I send anything anywhere, it's costing me a fortune? Why would I want to do that? I must be a dickhead, right? I'm not that stupid, right? So if XRAPID legislation doesn't have any value, then why is Ripple sitting on $25 billion that it got from selling it's technology to other corporations. Tell me that. You know, all these questions you can't answer because you make this stupid statement about XRP being a scam when you don't know anything about it. You know, if you're going to make a dumb statement like that, at least substantiate it, man or girl or whatever. Seriously, completely, completely erroneous. It's an erroneous statement and I really take umbrage to it, honestly. You know, I don't know why people have such trouble understanding the value of XRP. I really honestly don't. Why they can't understand the value of something. You know, it's like there's an old saying. I don't know whether, you know, it's a current saying, probably an old-fashioned saying. People know the price of everything, but honestly, they don't know the value of anything. And this is where Warren Buffett really understood the value of something. Because markets get the value of things wrong all the time. This is why someone like Warren Buffett has made a fortune. Someone like George Soros made a fortune. You know, selling foreign currency. You know, markets get value wrong all the time. Okay? All the time. Uh, you know, again, someone, you know, this thing about, you know, if they buy lots of XRP to transfer value in XRP. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. You know, yes, XRP is an ICO like anything else, just like Ethereum, just like, you know, just like Bitcoin, whatever, where people, you know, bought some to fund or whatever or other ICOs, whatever it might be. But, you know, it's a funding tool as well and a liquidity tool. You know, technically speaking, you know, a lot of uh, foreign currencies are not liquid. If they're not the top six foreign currencies in the world, and I can rattle them off, US yen, Aussie US, just to name a couple, a lot of foreign currency pairs are not liquid. And what that means is the buy-sell spreads are wide and it's going to cost you a fortune. A lot of banks don't make markets in them and you can't settle instantly, right? So again, why do you want to use foreign currency? when XRP can settle things and Ripple's technology instantly. And it does have value because Ripple's clients would not have paid Ripple 25 billion to use the technology. You see what I'm saying? Right. Oh, I'm cranky today, seriously. So this is what this bloke said, fair dinkum. And he doesn't want to show himself, that's typical. At least show your face, man, if you're going to girl or whatever you are you know you know don't make these statements when you can't even validate it seriously i just get cranky with this stuff that's why i don't read it uh he doesn't have any idea about technology ripple had a value xrp you know the value of a cryptocurrency right and it can be many different things that go into valuation you know protection of the network is not the same as the coin's value right but <coughs> Protection of a network can influence a coin's value in the sense if a technology completely gets constantly malicious attacks all the time, what does that tell you as an investor? The technology is not working, 
right? Malicious attacks all the time, just like Ethram. Malicious attacks. They've had to do hard forks constantly. And even Ethram Classic got malicious attacks. The technology is not working, right? <coughs> the technology is not working. Why should the coin have any value? My understanding is Ripple's technology has never had a malicious attack, ever. They have enough independent nodes that it's very, extremely difficult to have a malicious attack on Ripple's technology, which means malicious attack is 51% control over the network of Ripple, Ripple's technology, which, in other words, you need more than 51% control over the nodes that, that are distributed all over the world. Okay, number one. Very, very difficult to do. Also, Ripple has a consensus algorithm, which makes it even more difficult to do a malicious attack. Okay? And it's not to me to, to educate you, Mr. Fibber, because you obviously think you know everything because you've actually called Ripple a scam, but you don't know a damn thing. So go and look all that stuff up. Uh, also, value is determined by the usability of a coin. Okay, who uses it? What are they using it for? Are people aware of it? Are they going to use it more? What does it do for you? What's the value of it? The value is if I use XRP to transfer foreign currency, I'm barely paying any fees. Why would I want to go to a bank or a money exchange place? and pay, you know, two grand for fees when it's going to cost me 30 cents and I've got instant cash settlement. Why would I want to do that? Value of a coin or a token is determined by how good the technology is. The technology doesn't work, you know, and the crypto market is mature and understands that because at the moment it doesn't, then there should be no value for the coin, right? You don't value something like EOS, which is a $4 billion scam, you know, which went to its own blockchain and it wasn't even working properly, but the stupid crypto market valued that bloody coin at $18 and it was sitting on Ethereum's bloody, you know, platform for so long and had no clients or partners. You know, they're the scams you should be looking at. They had no clients and no partners, no one paying them anything, but the stupid crypto market valued their coin at 18 bucks and I still think it's at four dollars or something. I mean that's how dumb the cryptocurrency market is, right? Now EOS again has still got problems with its technology, okay? It doesn't seem to work, right? On its own blockchain and it's taken forever for them to fix the problems on their own blockchain. Not only that, They've got problems with the administration on their own blockchain because there's been, you know, a little bit of fraud going on within their own blockchain where they couldn't even get a quorum, okay? And look that up as well because seriously, I don't want to explain that to you as well because, you know, obviously you think you know everything. So value is also determined by good management, okay? Value is determined by how quickly the technology works. Can you shift money near instantly? Can you settle money near instantly? You know, value is about how clever the technology is, right? Value is about the partnerships, the clients that are using the technology. Now, I can't believe people don't believe that Ripple has value or XRP because it's very clear that Ripple is a very profitable company and where did they get that money from if the technology wasn't valuable and xrp wasn't valuable why are they sitting on 25 billion dollars of cash that's come from their clients people do not get ripples technology for free right and as i said it technology when it goes into a corporation can be a 20 five-year thing not only does the IT go in it's huge it's a huge spend for anyone because it has to walk, work across all different departments 
including treasury or whatever it might be and it has to join up all the different departments with cash flow it's an ongoing payment to ripple an annuity payment constant income to ripple for fees for their it it system but it's also the support you know the money making support you know ripple has a, a treasury they make markets in xrp it's the ongoing support of the transactions settling instantly making sure the maintenance is farmed within the system all that people do not get that for free they don't get it for free right that's a fact now coming back to xrp you could move 10 billion of xrp right it doesn't necessarily mean that it has no value if a buyer and this is a market if a buyer is prepared to buy something at 10 cents and a seller is you know wants to sell it at 10 cents on volume then that's where they see the market at the time but it doesn't mean xrp is valueless I mean, you've shot yourself in the foot again because XRP, you're talking about three different things. XRP trades at a level where that buyer and seller see it for that second, right? But as I said to you before, markets can get things wrong and they do. They get the value of securities, they get the value of non-securities wrong completely because investors don't understand the technology and they read something like what you've just tweeted mr or mrs fibber and they think that is correct when it is actually very incorrect so value is how clients benefit from the system the technology value is that xrp can settle instantly anything like no other system ripple have a platform other ICOs can be done on the platform ripple using XRP can transfer any asset you like not just cryptocurrency um, XRP and ripple technology is for everyone it's for everyone it's not just a banking coin it's for everyone you know value of XRP is how many people use the technology of Ripple, whether it be X Current or X Rapid. Ripple, as I said, are an incredibly wealthy company. They have 25 billion in cash. And you know what? I would love it if Ripple stuck their fingers up at everyone and said, we're gonna buy 20 billion back of XRP. You know, and you can all go to blaze it seriously. Thus, reducing the circulating supply thus the demand outstripping the circulating supply and the price going up and there is so much more to value of something than what i've just mentioned there seriously this particular person has no idea and what can i say i'm just exacerbated anyway guys i'm sort of annoyed today but you can probably see um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you can support my Kickstarter. Seriously, we're not talking about a lot of money here and, you know, I really, you know, it'd be really nice if you valued my, 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 my service and, you know, my, you know, my education. It's very, yeah, doesn't make me feel great. But anyway, okay guys, anyway, look after yourselves and, um, Please just be kind to your animals first, your cats and your dogs. Still miss my Gussie boy a lot. I looked at a couple of pictures of him today and I felt really sad about that. I still feel sad about it. Um, look after your family, look after you, look after your friends. Just make this world a better place than what it is. See you guys. Bye.